wish I could be here for tomorrow, but I'm flying back home for personal reasons. I, I wish I could stay for the last day. I'm really upset that I can't, but you know, I have faith that everyone here is gonna get it done. So, I was uh, wearing it, and uh, yep. I was trying to feel out where the, the chip was, this guy right here, and the two pieces came apart. I caught the front half, tried to catch the back half with my foot, uh, did not, and it just kind of fell on the ground and broke. This whole piece came out. I just have to break out the hot glue. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a hole in this. This is so messed up. So whenever we, a Batman receives anything or analyzes anything, we thought that Alfred should know that as well. And we also thought that UI was pretty flat. Um, so we uh, added some animations and Calibre did amazing job adding um, audio files. Added to the board. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so the first audio bit is for the bats flying in, and we have this audio clip right here. It's a little bit of a big audio clip, so it does uh, it does chirp in and out. Uh, when we identify a criminal, we want like really like to pop. So then we have this sound, and that's like, hey, there's a criminal. Uh, we have this sound, which is to notify that we have a message from Alfred that just popped up on the screen, so they know you know look for a message. And then this sound will play on a loop while the database is still initializing so that they know, hey, I'm waiting for the database, and then the payoff is they get this little sound, and the database is initialized, and criminals are ready to be processed. I don't know if that's completely wrong. And I think this went like there-ish, I don't know. Oh wait, it was like this. Oh, yeah. Totally the third time it falls is the turn. Yeah, it's... <laughs> See, now we have to break a lot more of it to make it match. <laughs> yeah, just put a piece of duct tape. Yeah, I just... Can't even tell. Hey. That was really bad at operation as a kid. Yeah, I mean, it's it looks cracked, but... We can, we can make a story reason, like he got yeah. punched by someone. Affected. It. It's like not going together perfectly anymore. It's like one of the magnets got moved a little bit. Let's just fix this. We don't have to tell James. It's okay. He would never notice. <laughs> Maybe he'll drop it and O'Brien will be like, oh no, what did James, you do? James, what did you do? Now, if you had click the plus sign, um, there must be a hacker's lab, a hacker lab's uh, Batman call on the right side. Yeah, just click on that. Ooh, I like the intro. Let's go. So, right now it's telling you what you're looking at. Actually, and it's also so. Yeah, mm -hmm. and holding a camera. Yeah. yeah. So that is uh, computer vision. After we go, we go through the computer vision. It detects how many faces are there. Yeah. It tries to check every single face in the database. So, um, and we have him as a criminal in the database. So, if you look at him. Ah, Alexander Pateau. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it's actually no. it's a famous guy. Soccer yeah. Soccer soccer you'll, you'll hear an alert when it goes. Yep, it's got him. It says he's named Fire Hazard and he has multiple counts of arson. You've met your match. <laughs> <laughs> hey Alfred, order pizza. It just, it just said pizza's on its way. That's pretty sweet. Well, it seems to be working pretty good. I mean, nice. the fit's a bit off, but uh, the UI is working great. It's really cool. Hey guys, how's my favorite UI team doing? So, um, we already have a build for you to test. Oh, I Me? I get to test it? Oh. Make sure I don't mess up my ears. Oop, hearing stuff. I've seen some bats. Man, this is cool. Hacker Labs. <gasps> oh, all the red stuff. Is it, so is it scanning? Yeah, it's the initializing. thing is initializing. That's yeah. Too many we'll look right at Three faces found. A group of people writing on the back of a man. <laughs> no? No? Zero faces found. The camera is here, so... Oh. 343 counts of 
Arson? So the, the sound that you're hearing is the notification that the criminal database returned a hit. And I think it still has his image looping in, yeah, so yeah. it's notifying. Yeah, no, it, it saw him and it gave all of his info. So, like, as long as you will keep looking at him, it'll just keep buzzing you. And he'll be like, it's yeah. him, arrest him already. Yeah. Well, you know, that will annoy Batman enough to get to on do it. Do something about him. it. <laughs> Oh no, it is me. Hi guys, what'd you do? I was wearing the helmet. The back of it came off and I was not able to catch that. We glued most of it back together. I think it looks pretty good. It gives it a little character, a little battle scar. But um, we can put these pieces together. That sounds good. Oh. And it makes the helmet and you know, it latches securely. What about what about these little ears? Right. So the ears, we have come up with a system that we can place them on and take them off at any time. Okay. And what these things can do, if you see right here, yeah. we have a little button. Go ahead and press that button. Ah! Hi. Ears move. And they can oh. Yep. So if you press it it'll go just kind of left and then it'll go back to center. Nailed it. It'll just go back and forth. Is it still pointing in the direction like if it hears a noise? It's not. I was not okay. able to get that function to work. So now we have this put together even though it shattered it's, and was reborn. It has some character now. But now we have to put the hollow lens in it, make sure everything comes together as one final product. Right. All right. Well, I'm happy with this. You know what guys? We should take a we should take a photo. We should. Guys, where's the hacksmith? Where's James? <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm that man. So we had an accident. It's a little interesting. Remember how we said third time's the charm? Third, third time was, in fact, the charm. It was the charm. It's, yeah, it's, it's uh, in one piece. Anyways, it's time to try it on. That man needs to be dressed. <laughs> No, nothing. Good. Pretty badass. Oh, what was that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love room. it. Da, 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 da. They're like doing their own little dance. <laughs> it looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm bad, man. Hey, <laughs> so, I had a lot of fun with this. For the obstacles that we got faced with, I think this turned out pretty good. One of the biggest things that was kind of a surprise to us is when we printed it out, it turned out it was a little big for the HoloLens we based it around. So, if we were to do it again, I would definitely try and scale it down more so that it kind of gives a more snug fit. We also wanted to have some LEDs in there, but we couldn't because that would interfere with the HoloLens. From day one, you know, our goal was to make this as small as it could be. Our big goal was to not be a bobblehead, but there were just some, some things that happened that we had no way to account for, and it just ended up being uh, the way that it is. You know, if we had just a little bit more time, we would be able to implement the rest of our stuff that was, would be possible. So yeah, I think we were pretty happy with the features that we did manage to get in here. My advice to future hacker labbers would be, no matter how much time you think you have, pretend you have less. Make sure you get stuff done early or else you end up in really heavy crunch time, which can be detrimental. It's very important to pick your battles, pick the right ones or else you're gonna end up wasting time. I think the project went about as good as I expected it to. We got, I would say, about 90% of our features in and a couple extra features that we had a little bit of time for. Where we didn't have time to implement a big feature, we could implement a smaller one in this place. I feel the same. The only thing we didn't have working is the speech recognition. But um, code-wise, it was working in Unity, so I think it was a success for us. But with like retaining the knowledge I gained here, Definitely pay more attention to the context of an error. Um, uh, that caused a bottleneck for one of my systems in the beginning. 
which led to me not being able to help with another system in the end. My best advice will be like, don't get stuck in a feature. If it's not working, it's not working, move on. We face the same problem. Um, sometimes it doesn't work and then you try to solve something else and it hits that, hey, I know how to solve the previous one now. But if we get a chance, it'll be amazing to implement a real, real time uh, facial detection on the device level, not on a server level. Okay, so we're back I'm with. Batman. We're back. I'm, we. I'm, this is. Batman. Who is this really? Batman. This is Batman. But just kidding, it's James, the Batman. hacksmith. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> what did you think? I think they did a pretty good job in the time they had. We ran into a few issues with the helmet in that. The HoloLens model we had was not the right scale. In the future, we should probably check the 3D models before we do anything. Like just make sure that it's scaled right. But at least Other than that, really the them. UI looks awesome. It's something you'd probably see in a Batman's cowl. I think they did a great job all in all. You want to come back next time? I think so. All right, guys, that's it for this series of Hacker Labs, but we still have more coming. So if you have any ideas of things that we should create next time, go ahead and leave a comment and like and subscribe while you're at it. Hit that bell, turn on those notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.